So whenever you feel like you are alone, just know that your angels are with you. And this is proof, especially if you pray and you seek. You seek for guidance. You seek for information. You seek for protection. You seek for blessings. Your angels are always around you. When people try to say that angels either don't exist or either they're irrelevant or they have no real importance in the means of the Bible, I would like to point everybody to this scripture right here. It comes from 2 Kings 6, 17 through 20. And this is an account from the prophet Elisha. And first of all, Elijah and Elijah are very powerful prophets. And if you want, if you want to learn more about the prophets and the apostles and even Jesus's role in the Bible in regards to divination and magic and divine feminine, etc., all the whole gamut, you can check out my latest book, The Bible's Hidden Divination and Magic. There, I do go into the detail of the prophet Elisha and Elijah, as well as the apostles, etc. All right, so let me tell you about this scripture here. Now, we never are alone. Okay, I can explain this on so many different levels that we are never alone. I have a video, a short video that's coming about ancestors and how ancestors really do exist and they are uh, acceptable in the Bible. That's one. But so look forward to that video. So like, share and subscribe. All right. So let's get into the angels. So we know that there are accounts of angels. We have the angel that delivered a message and blessed Mary. OK, yeah, we know about that. But angels are all around us in everyday circumstances. So in my personal opinion, the way how I perceive angels are about angles, perspectives. And it's also related to the astrological movements, the degrees and the deacons. Um, to the zodiac wheel. All right, so that's just one way how to explain it. Another way how to explain it, there are spiritual beings that are here to assist humanity. And this is reflected in this scripture here, as I will read. So if I back up just a little bit, we're going to go just in a little detail about what is going on in the scripture so you can really see the full picture. All right, so in this scripture, I'm backing up to uh, 2 Kings 6, 10 through 20. So basically, the king of Israel He's, he's shaking in his boots about what is going on, what is happening. There's some type of a threat that um, Israel is facing and the king, he feels somewhat intimidated. But the prophet Elijah, so Elijah, first he went into prayer. He prayed and then he was like, open your eyes and look, my Lord, we are not alone. There was an army of angels that surrounded them. So whenever you feel like you are alone, just know that your angels are with you. And this is proof, especially if you pray and you seek. You seek for guidance. You seek for information. You seek for protection. You seek for blessings. Your angels are always around you. Now, keep an eye out for that video about ancestors. But if anyone ever says that, oh, angels don't exist or either angels aren't there to help defend or protect or provide blessings, just point them to this scripture. And this should be one of the pivotal scriptures that will help to transform their ideas surrounding angels and angels possibly being fictitious or either something that is evil. I've also heard that as well. So you guys don't forget my latest book, my Oracle decks, learning content, PDF downloads, all located on my Etsy shop. And this is also on Amazon, but you can find it on Etsy too. All right, you guys, until next time, peace.